7th Avenue is closed from 48th down to 43rd, and there's no crosstown traffic uh, between 43rd Street and 47th Street. So you can get across 48th and 42nd Street is open. There's an event rehearsal out there, and it should be wrapping up shortly. Heading over to the LIE in Queens. So there's a new traffic pattern coming off the lower level. This is the ramp to the BQE. You know, you go to the lower level, and then you come around and hit the Coscuse Co Bridge. Well, that's what it looks like already out there, and it may be ongoing because, like I said, it's a new traffic pattern causing the delay. So this is southbound on the sawmill just after Route 133 or Main Street, and now delays are starting to pick up out there. So use caution in the area. Leave yourself some extra time. Over on the LIE, if you're headed to the BQE on the lower level there out by exit 17, there's a new traffic pattern causing delays. So it's heavier than usual. We saw this yesterday as well. And we will take a live look outside at the Gowanus Expressway. Where Staten Island Ferry commuters, it's operating on a modified schedule this morning due to the fog out there. So that means boats depart every 20 minutes. New York Waterway NYC Ferry uh, Sea Streak, so far so good. They have no service changes uh, for me to tell you about yet. Over on the Grand Central Parkway westbound, there's an overturned vehicle just after the Jackie Robinson Parkway here. Delays go back to the clear view. You know that this area is very messy to begin with, with all of the traffic shifts and all the construction going on out there. So northbound on the Van Wyck Expressway getting into the Grand Central. Westbound on the Grand Central is just really jammed up right now. Uh, heading over to the LIE lower level, a traffic pattern shift here as well. Uh, delays westbound getting into the BQE. Still very jammed up, much worse than usual. And if you are driving through Westchester County or from Putnam into Westchester, Sawmill Parkway southbound after Route 133, you still have an overturned vehicle out there. And on 684 southbound after the sawmill, a crash there. We'll take a live look outside.